Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Fozia and I'm one half of the traveling duo Tabibito. Tabibito in Japanese means traveling people or people who travel. We do videos all about traveling and discovering everything from things that are around the corner in your neighborhood to things all the way on the other side of the world. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel down below and turn on the notifications so you can see the next time we upload videos. In this video, we're going to be sharing some of our favorite things from Japan. So I'll rewind a little bit. So to rewind, my in-laws are in town from Japan and anytime they come to town or we go there, there are always things that we bring. In Japanese, well in Japan it's traditional to bring omiyage and omiyage are usually just small gifts. And these gifts are usually things you'll get when you're traveling and you visit a place. It could be something as small as, you know, like the cookies that are popular there. It doesn't have to be anything big. So we always travel with omiyage for everyone we anticipate seeing and a couple of extra ones just in case we see people we didn't anticipate and we want to have something to bring. I mean, I grew up in the U.S., but my parents, we never went to people's homes or met people we hadn't seen after a long time empty-handed. So it's not that different culturally for me, but I would definitely say that in Japan, the omiyage they have are much more beautifully packaged. That said, when um, my in-laws come here, they almost always bring omiyage, but outside of omiyage, they typically will like go on Amazon Japan or onto some of the sites local to Japan and will order things and they'll bring it with them when they come. Today I'm going to show you everything we ordered and that they brought with them. My mother-in-law also is super sweet, so she always packs like extra things so we'll think we're getting just a few things and it's literally like my husband's like dream suitcase of all the Japanese treats he's been missing. So if you'd like to see more about you know things we miss having here some of the things by the way we just buy there because it's cheaper if they're coming anyway we can get it here so I'll let you know as I go through but first let me show you how much stuff we have. Okay. I'm grabbing this suitcase. There are a couple of things we couldn't wait. Hold on. So first off, we couldn't wait on these and we already opened them. There are these like little cracker snacks from this natural food store. And then my husband likes anything that's like, if it has like cream or sauce, he likes it. He already opened this, but there are these little like snacks. They're pretty delicious. So I'm not going to open this pack because he, he might cry if I eat the last one. Let me show you the suitcase. <sighs> Literally, this entire suitcase is filled with stuff from Japan. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, just a second. Basically, we've got an entire suitcase, and not even exaggerating, an entire suitcase filled with snacks. So we have some wagashi, which are traditional Japanese treats. We've got some baking things that I like, Japanese soap, more snacks that my husband likes. Let me show you. Okay, I apologize for the lighting, guys. It's pretty bad. Let me see. It's kind of a cloudy day, so I um, actually think that's better. Okay, let me show you what we have. So. This is just some soap, and this soap is actually made from cow's milk, I believe. And my husband said this is something that has been around since he was a kid, but I think he was just being nostalgic when he bought this. And we'll, we'll do a word of the day, seken. Seken means soap in Japanese. Oh, wow. So in here we get six bars of soap, and of course... Japanese packaging so it's a box and a box with another bag. This is kombu which is essentially like seaweed and we use this to season soups and broths. I love these snacks you can totally get it here but it's a little cheaper there and it's just like well this one is a wasabi flavor but they're 
I don't know if you can see this, but it's like the peanuts with the little crisp. I love these. And my husband knows I love them, so he bought a lot of them. Okay, I don't actually know what everything is. I'm going to actually, I'm going to use Google Translate on my phone to figure out what some of these things are. And what I'll usually do is I use the camera mode. And in the camera mode, I can just scan what it is and it will translate. And for me, it'll do a live translate. I have it set up to do that. So let's see what this is. You think I'm coordinated enough to do this? If you just align the text, it will translate it for you. Cool. Helpful, right? Okay, so let's see. <laughs> that was the back of the package. Hold on. Multi Both She Serum from Takashimaya. The Takashimaya is a really famous Japanese um, department store. Um, I have no idea what this is, but the packaging is pretty. We'll keep going. This is um, shichimi. So I don't know. Anytime you go to a Japanese restaurant, they usually have like the seven spice. So this is just one of them. We got a couple. One of some of them are already in the cabinet, but we got yuzu shichimi, which is what, with the citrus yuzu, and then we got regular ones as well. So this one's in the package, but we did get the usual one that you see also. This is kinako. I love Kinako, so I asked my mother-in-law to get some for me. She got one organic one and one regular one. Uh, where's the word? Uh, so in Japan, this is what certifies things as organic. And <laughs> this all looks super random. But this is marinated daikon. So it's marinated pickled daikon radish. Rice seasoning. Sesame oil. I mean, honestly, we can get this here. I think my husband was being a little extra just because, like, his parents were bringing it. I don't know. Oh, I forgot the name of this. Hold on. I gotta... I'll put the translation for this on the screen. I don't know. It's like a... It almost looks like rice porridge, but it's not. And my husband said people add this to like their rice and things like that so they don't eat as much and they feel more full without having the calories. So is he trying to tell me something? I don't know. Um, guys, I really don't know what some of this stuff is. Oh, I have a food business and it's plant-based so I like to make desserts and things like that that um, some of them are more like jelly or gelatinous but I don't use gelatin. In Japan they use kanten which in English we call it agar agar and I find that some of the prices are cheaper in Japan because it's something that was like originated in Japan so I got a few different types of kanten also. Just like a snack that my husband likes. I don't actually know what it's called, but it's just like a crunchy, sweet snack that also has like some soy sauce flavor to it. Well, let me see if I can translate. So it has sugar. Oh, that's what it is. It's not soy. It's sugar. It has like the black sugar and wheat flour are the main ingredients, so it's really dark. They're kind of sweet. You don't need to eat a lot, but they're crunchy and they're good. I also love azuki beans, so I wanted to try making some things with azuki beans on my own, so I got just plain azuki beans so I can make the paste myself and decide how I want it and how sweet I want it because that's another thing. A lot of times you buy it, it's already sweetened and... I like to be able to choose noodles. Why not? These are these crackers, just a different flavor. These are really tasty because they're not too, they have like a nice flavor and a nice crunch to them. Oh, you want to see? Actually, I'll eat one.
Anyway. These are tasty. I gotta close this bag or I'll keep it in. Mm. This is just seasoned, like flavored seaweed. Oh my god. This is gonna be the longest video because I don't know what anything is. This legitimately looks like creamer. I don't know why why we have this. Hold on. Maybe it's not creamer. Let's see. More dried food. I'll put on the screen what this is, but you can't see it. But the packaging is simple but really pretty. Oh, amasake. I had this for the first time when I was in Japan at like a street festival and I thought it was really delicious. So, so my husband got some for me. Um, <laughs> this is going to look like all we eat are snacks. So <laughs> more snacks. Seasoning. Snacks. Fish flakes. And we use this to top things, and we also use it to season broth. Oh, goodness. Um, what do we have here? More dried tzatziki beans. This is salmon wrapped in kombu, so wrapped in seaweed. know we didn't order this I know my mother-in-law just put this in here because this is legitimately just rice but I think it's already cooked so I guess she's like my poor son I want I'm joking I I don't know but this is just rice so we got lots of rice and got two of these because we need two okay um drugstore eye cream why not um, my husband really wanted to try these. They're these little things and you put them on and it's like a little pulse. And I think he thinks this will get him out of me asking him for like massages. So we'll see how that goes. Here's that. Oh. oh shoot. I'm saving the things I need to translate for after. We have another one of these to watch our weight, I guess. So watch this. I don't know what this is. Wait, I wasn't counting. So that's six, eight. Oh. We have ten of these. Let's see what it is. Oh, these are. This is udon. Udon. And we need a lot of udon, I guess, according to my husband. Of course, some instant. We only got two of these. We don't really eat that much, like, instant things. So, like, the instant stuff, I guess it's, like, nice for those days we don't feel like cooking. Omiyage that they got for my mom because we're going to see her. Um, gotta translate that. Uh, this is more wagashi, so Japanese, like sweets. I uh, believe this is soba. I'll correct myself on the screen if I'm wrong. More wagashi. Look at how beautiful the packaging is. And then. I think we'll take this to my mom's also because we'll be there for New Year's. So it'll be nice to have like some snacks and stuff together. Um, another beautifully packaged item. I don't know what's in here, so let's see. Oh, <laughs> more wagashi. I know this is peach flavor, melon, 
They showed me that one last night. I don't know what these are, so I have to look it up. But it's more wagashi. <laughs> these are towels. Shara, let's see. Again, you know, nice packaging. I don't know, it looks like baby clothes. I'm really confused. Like, are they like giving us hints? Like, what is this? Okay. <laughs> Do you think my mother in law meant to give us this? Because this is straight up baby clothes. for something <laughs> I'm dying right now sorry I'm dying okay I mean it's like a really cute holiday dress I guess for a little girl but why does she have this I don't know I don't know maybe she's like guys get to it I can't wait to show that to my husband he's literally gonna die he told me it was a towel last night this is not a towel Maybe she thought it was, but it's not a towel. Uh, I drink matcha every day, so he got me some more. I mean, I have a pretty nice stash, but he got me some more. I have to translate this. Maybe they're baby socks. Who knows? Let's see. All right, so to translate, we got... Two of these canned things. Ooh, I'm gonna break my coffee table. Second, let's see. So this is oh, it's bean paste. So I think this is miso. I think I know it's bean paste. I just don't know what kind, but my assumption is that it's miso. We also got these so I believe this one is like I don't know if it, I think it's dried but it's mentaiko I don't like mentaiko because basically it's like fish eggs in the sack so it's almost like in the uterus a little too close to home for me so I'm not into that but uh, we got some other ones also so this is yuzu I love the containers, so once we do use these, I'm going to um, reuse it as well. I believe this is like kombu or seaweed flavor. And I think this one is ume, which is like the plum flavor. So I like all of these. Yeah, uh, my husband, he, my husband's on his own on this one, but isn't the packaging so pretty? Yeah. All right, um, that's actually not it. There are these things, but honestly, I just don't know. I just sent my husband a message about the, <laughs> about the baby clothes. I'm really, really curious what he's going to say. I don't think she did it on purpose. <laughs> I think <laughs> he's like, she said it's a towel. I don't think she had any idea what it was. So here, here's a little secret. My mother-in-law, they get... Because people give and get omiyage all the time. She has like this storage room that's just filled with all these different omiyage and stuff she has. So 100% sure that she went into that room and just grabbed a bunch of stuff and took it with her. That's my guess. And what I think this was is I bet you my sister-in-law who, who had a son, he's like one years old. Uh, he's one year old. Um... I bet this was a gift they got before someone knew how old the kid was and she didn't realize it was a baby gift or that it was for a little girl. That's my guess. But in any case, we did have a few more things. I'm going to show you and I'll have to put on the screen what they are because honestly, I have no idea. I have to work on my Japanese. We got this. Um, this, which I think, I forgot. I think it's just combo. 
I think this is something pickled because my I remember my husband saying this is something you like that I'll hate. Well, something I'll like that he'll hate. So I think that's kombu. Not kombu, but something pickled. Don't know what this is. I'll put it on the screen. We've got this too. This. More like probably wagashi omiyage. We'll see when we open it or when somebody tells me what it is. And I think that's it. So what do you guys think? I feel like this looks like that most ridiculous haul of random things you could bring from Japan. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought was the coolest thing that we got. What is there anything here that you've had before you'd want to taste or you won't eat at all? Um, also, let me know if you think I need to practice some Japanese so I can know what the heck I'm eating. Otherwise, we'll keep you posted on how some of this tastes. Maybe we'll do a story time on what the heck this means. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.